Hey guys, tonight we have the best meatloaf that we've ever made. We're gonna show you how we did it. We've never made this. That's why it's the best meatloaf we've ever made. Okay. Back to Green Horn Barbecue Beer. My name is Todd. Sassy. And uh, we're going to show you tonight exactly what we said. We're going to make the best meatloaf we've ever done. We know it's going to be the best meatloaf we've ever done because... I'm making it. That's why. Yeah. And we are using <laughs> lamb, guys. we got four pounds of this beautiful... Grass-fed... Yeah. Ground lamb. Grass fed. Not on our lamb, not on our lawn, but uh, someone else's grass. Oh, jeez. The grass fed. And uh, <laughs> it's really good stuff. Uh, we all know lamb is just so good. All right, before we get started, guys, just want to let you know, stick around. We're going to announce the winner for this current giveaway cycle. Two large bottles of Uncle Steve Shake, 12 ounces, anything you want. We're going to draw that here in a little while, so be sure to watch. And then... We're also going to be doing the lamb on the Traeger, and uh, you don't want to miss that. This has got an 85-15 ratio, 15% fat ratio. Before I start putting my ingredients into the lamb, I want to show you something. This will be your best friend, your best friend ever. This is my mini chopper. Check it out. For those of you who hate the hassle of chopping, So in this recipe, I'm using a whole onion. What I've decided to do is use half of a Spanish onion and half of a purple onion. And we're gonna have the uh, ingredients in the description and we'll also flash it up on the screen right here. Right there. Okay. Right there. All right. All right. Right there. Right there. Or, or maybe right there. Right or there. hell, maybe over there. There's our onion. We're done with the chopper. Okay, so just a uh, coarse chopped, or you did finely chopped, huh? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's not mushy. Yeah, it's not mushy. What you got here? And here we have uh, garlic, chopped garlic. How many cloves? I did three cloves of chopped garlic. It all depends on your taste. Maybe you want more. Maybe you want less. Um, you can kind of tip your plate from all the juices. But this is, these are bell peppers. It's half a green half an orange and half a red. You can use yellow, you can use all green if you want, whatever your preference is. But we decided to go with a mixture of all of these. These are quick oats. This is a half a cup. So we're going to, um, no, it's one cup of Quaker oats, I'm sorry. This is a half a cup, so we're gonna put two of these. If you over pour, it's okay. It's or, or enough to where you get that uh, consistency. You better stop interrupting my cook. We are gonna put some parsley. Now parsley doesn't really have flavor, but gosh, it looks pretty. So we're just gonna put some parsley in here. I forgot the fresh parsley from the market. Shame, shame, shame on me. We are gonna put some Uncle Steve's Shake. South right Texas Red. Got a little uh, pop going on right there. Yep, it's got that. chili flakes in it. Um, so that, that's really, it. you know, my recipe calls for chili flakes and I thought what better shake to use. It's got flavor, it's got salt, it's got everything. We're gonna use two heaping half tablespoons here, okay? We're going to put half a teaspoon of ground pepper, a half teaspoon of kosher salt. Some of you may like this, some of you may not. That's good. Cracker eggs. Okay, so how many eggs? Two. two I'm eggs. only gonna use two eggs. Okay. Just wanna make sure there's no... Um... Okay, we don't have any shells in there. Shake a few oats in here, babe. A few more oats? Yeah, shake a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so one thing I did put in here was an overripe jalapeno that turned orange. Tasty, hot, delicious. You know how we love our spice. So. Okay guys, we're all done mixing this up. Doesn't it look yummy? Look at all those ingredients. Gonna cook and marry and be all tasty. Let's just take this whole bowl out there because we're going to put it on the Grillaholics grill mat. So here we are at the Traeger. We've got her at 350. Our lamb is looking lovely. I'm going to put it on the grill mat, the Grillaholics grill mat inside and shape it. And then after I do that, I'm gonna baste it with some olive oil. So you ready? I'm going to um, bring it up like this because if it flattens out a little bit, you know, it'll just be a little bit, but I don't think it will. And we cook. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Todd told me not to put any more shake, but you know what? I'm gonna hit it one more time with Uncle Steve's South Texas Red. Gotta be quick about this. Just because it looks pretty. So to, right now, we're going to be announcing the giveaway. We're going to pick a winner from our uh, last week's wingnut giveaway. And the prize is going to be two 12-ounce bottles of Uncle Steve's Delicious Shake. Yes. Anything they want. Anything you any want. Two kinds of any two kinds of shake. And Ready? So I thought it would be fair. I told Greenhorn we should put it in a fishbowl. Well, it's a kind of a vase, but... Anyway, to make it fair, we've got nine entries in here. So I'm going to go ahead. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. All right. Oh, my hand is stuck. <laughs> All right. Okay. Got a winner. Let's see. Oh my gosh! Cooking cop and babe. <laughs> right. Yay! Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, Right on. Okay, so you guys know how it works. Uh, email us your address. Got to be a valid U.S. address. Mail it to us. Email greenhornbarbecue at gmail.com. All right, yeah. Listen to that sizzle. Uh, that color is beautiful. So I just probed it. It's uh, just uh, over 160 internal. That's where we want it. So uh, I've turned the... Uh, trigger off and we're gonna go ahead and get this inside uh, probably don't need to let it rest too long looks like we have a little grease come out there but that's all right ready I've been ready are you waiting for the sassy kitchen queen? all right guys you see it out there <laughs> now it's here we're gonna um, oh, that cut looks into beautiful. this beautiful we're gonna show it to you you know now internal temperature got just a little bit above 165 maybe that's okay. now we were cranking out 350 on that trigger toward the end with about 20 degrees to go. I cranked it up to full for high on the trigger. And on my trigger, that means about 450 degrees. So that got a little bit of a char. I know Sassy likes a little char. So do I. So uh, let's get cutting. Before I cut this beautiful lamb loaf, I want you to see my tzatziki sauce. This is homemade. The recipe will be in the uh, video okay okay it'll, it'll be in the video. it'll be it well it'll be on your well, there you point, what, it'll be up here or down there or over there how it'll be somewhere or right instagram for sets of kitchen okay all right <laughs> let's go all right let's do I'm this hungry. look at this
That grill mat really kind of gave it a crunch at the bottom there. Oh, look at that. Okay. There we go. We'll go for one of these. Oh, yeah, that is yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, uh, look at those bell peppers. How's it taste? Mmm. Wow, that's just a press. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, knock it off. Okay, look. I'm gonna do this so I can put. I'm just waiting for you to taste it so you can tell us how it is. Some tzatziki. I know it's delicious. I made it. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna put some sauce on it. We'll put it. There you go. Okay. No drum, roll, roll. No drum rolls here. Just do it. It's like meatloaf, but it's not a beef meatloaf. <laughs> no, the flavors are different. The whole profile of this meatloaf is different than that of a beef meatloaf. It, it's delicious. It's lamb. It's delicious. Does it taste gamey or anything? No, like not at all. Oh. You can, it, you know it's lamb, but it's not gamey at all. Can you taste heat from the... Oh the yeah. Meat? Just a little, just a little kick. It's nice though. Yeah. It's a nice sweet kick. You want a bite, baby? Sauce. I know, but the sauce is good. It's all about the sauce. Come on, you gotta appreciate the sauce. Mm. You know what? You could even we could even put horseradish in the sauce. That would be good. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. You know, I don't even notice whether it's lamb or not. Honestly, I, I can't tell that it's lamb. Um, you know, the, the lamb. The lamb chops we grilled last week. Okay, you know those. You know we seasoned them. You know you could definitely tell they were lamb. This, it's just a hint, really, but it's delicious. It's different. It's got a different you flavor know it's profile. Not beef. It's delicious. You know it's not ground beef, and I think that's that's a big takeaway right here. It's, just, it's delicious. It's, you know, a lot of the uh, seasonings that Sassy put in there, you can taste those seasonings. It's not covered up. Or swallowed up by that beef flavor. Did you see that I hit it with Uncle Steve's shake on the top? Mm-hmm. Right well, there. <laughs> sure did. Oh, you did? You didn't even say anything. I'm the one that caught you. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> These are really good, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, make our dinner now. Or we eat our dinner. And, um... Oh, you're going to want to try this recipe. It's delicious. So be sure to subscribe, like this video, comment down below, tell us all about it. And don't forget to meet us every every Wednesday. We know Wednesday. We'll, uh, oh, so the one who just won is the one we picked today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So anyway, <laughs> guys, see you uh, Wednesday. We know Wednesday. Uh, be I had sure a couple like of mojitos, okay? And we'll be announcing <laughs> another giveaway. And, um, and give you a little bit of barbecue news and things like that. So we'll see you later. Thanks. <laughs> mm.